so thank you Naveen and uh, Mustafa for speaking to Security Review. Uh, so we have uh, both of them from Spire Solutions and we'll talk about the security threat landscape and uh, their participation at JISIC this year. So uh, can we start with a brief about the products and solutions and the brands you're representing at the event this year? Definitely. I'll actually start with the theme because the theme will help us break down meaningfully the different uh, solutions that we're presenting here. Our JISIC 2022 main theme has been around enabling cyber resilience, enhancing cyber security and data privacy. So, although we represent more than 20 niche cybersecurity solutions and service providers from around the world, this year at JISEC, we are featuring the likes of uh, Elastic, who's a global player when it comes to search, observe, protection, security analytics, application performance management, endpoint security, threat hunting, uh, using artificial intelligence and machine learning to enhance security operations. Corelight on the network detection and response, which has an amazing integration with uh, Elastic and one of our other partners who's Gigamon, who comes in and punches heavily for network visibility. Uh, from an identity governance and access management space, where at some point my colleague Mustafa will uh, speak a little more, we are featuring Atos, who's known for securing identities, securing data, PKI, digital encryption, and a lot more. One of the new partners that we featured this year is Quantum Exchange, who is helping government and enterprise customers in becoming quantum safe by building quantum safe encryption. On the other hand, we also have the likes of uh, digital shadows for insight and intel from the deep, dark and open web sources to help companies protect their brands, protect their VIPs, uh, avoid account takeover, prevent malicious activities from happening. XM Cyber for attack path management, attack path visualization to, to assume a breach and think like a hacker so you know what might be the different routes that they take and you proactively defend yourselves. Uh, one of our key partners, SolarWinds, was featured as well from an IT operations management perspective, ID infrastructure management per perspective, network operations management perspective. Another new partner that we had this year is Synopsys. Synopsys comes in from a application security, DevSecOps, dynamic and static application security and software integrity point of view. Synopsys is again a global leader celebrated by uh, many third party research agencies from around the world. But last but not the least, our bespoke data and analytics business unit, Spire Data, which helps customers in capitalizing on the data that they have by helping them store, compute, analyze, take decisions, everything driven by data. So these are just some of the technologies that we were showcasing on our uh, stand this year. Uh, Mustafa, could you like to add something? Um Yep, yep. Uh, as Naveen has summarized it beautifully about Spire Solutions and our journey about cybersecurity, uh, this year we are proud to introduce Quantum Exchange, which is uh, fundamentally speaking about quantum safe encryption. So, uh, talking about the conventional encryption which was there uh, in the market, I guess uh, there is a memorandum out from NSM, uh, from White House, that's NSM 8, which speaks about the National Security Memorandum. That is, uh, federal organizations in the US are getting ready for quantum safe encryption. So one of the key things in quantum safe encryption remains uh, quantum key distribution and post-quantum cryptography. So this is something uh, where we have bought in quantum exchange and we are uh, bringing the solution in the middle of this market so that this market becomes ready, this market becomes quantum safe uh, uh, in terms of distributing the keys or any network, 5G, 4G. So we have that mechanism ready and we are all set to deliver it to our customers. So on the other hand side, now we mentioned one of the key, key uh, partnerships which we did this year was Key Factor. So Key Factor is a technology which uh, speaks around, uh, we have SSH key management, say for example on that. Uh, we are speaking about certificate lifecycle management, which is a very important aspect of in managing the certificates within the organization. And it's one of the most critical points uh, when speaking in cybersecurity. Least to mention, Atos. So Atos is something which is covering our story on three main players, so I will say, uh, data protection and encryption where we have a dedicated solutions around hardware, hardware security modules, key management systems, you know, all these solutions in there. Then on the other hand side, we have a portfolio of AVDN, which speaks about identity and access management. We speak about SSO, we sp speak about MFA, identity federation, identity governance. So these are all in a single suite of, of AVDN at all. Least but not the last is IDNomic, which is a full-fledged PKI, uh, platform where we where we talk about digital uh, identities, managing the digital identities, and uh, this covers our holistic approach in terms of managing the identities, PKI, and uh, the data protection and encryption. 
Yep. So, so in terms of the event today is the grand finale of, uh, as they say, you know, like you must have spoken to a lot of customers, a lot of partners over the past three days. Um, can you give us some, uh, you know, information on what kind of pain points are they facing in terms of security, you know, or getting into the digital transformation journey, and how is Aspire helping them in, you know, uh, reaching those their goals? Definitely. There are multiple challenges, but uh, fortunately with collaboration and with partnerships, these challenges can be resolved. So let's make that the first statement. Uh, ransomware attacks are on the rise. So customers need help in proactively onboarding tools, technologies, training their teams and having processes in place which helps them protect their organizations from ransomware attacks. Security awareness is a little low or still low. Customers are trying to enhance that and increase the level of security awareness and security maturity within their respective organizations. Some companies have too many tools and technologies and other companies don't have enough tools and technologies. So these are two different types of challenges to face. So for those that have too many tools and technologies, with the help of security automation, security orchestration, AI and ML capabilities, the dependency on human beings can be reduced. They don't need to have an army of security analysts. They can still make the most of their tools and technologies. But at the same time, also test the effectiveness because another challenge that they face is they've invested in lots and lots of technologies, but they don't know whether or not these tools are doing the jobs that they're supposed to be doing, whether or not these tools can actually keep them safe. So as I mentioned earlier, one of our partners, XM Cyber, helps in attack path visualization as well as security controls effectiveness uh, management. So it can tell which tool is doing a great job, which tool is not doing a great job, what kind of attacks can go through, what kind of attacks can be, uh, can be defended against, right? So these are just some of the challenges for those with plenty of tools and technologies. And on the other hand, those that don't have too many tools and technologies need to start building things ground up. What we've learned in the last two years, particularly during the pandemic, is size of your company does not matter anymore. You can be a small four people organization or an enterprise with 10,000 employees. If it's your bad day, if you don't have security measures in place, you can be compromised. Cyber criminals might come after you. So start at least with the basics, get your fundamentals right and scale your security face by face. So that's again another challenge that companies are facing because too many players trying to sell too many tools and technologies. Whereas we take a slightly different approach. We work with CISO security professionals in the region, understand their challenges, map that to their industry, see what types of frameworks and standards are applicable to their industry. And then based on our research, based on our portfolio of solutions, we advise them whether or not there is something that can help solve their problems without creating any new problems. Uh, data, again, with digital disruption, the volume of data has grown many fold. A key challenge around this is discoverability of data, understanding the type of data, being able to classify the data, to secure that data, and of course, make most of that data, not just from a security perspective, but also from a business perspective. So our unit, Spire Data, comes in as a data consultant, a data strategist, and a data partner to help customers realize the power of data that they may or may not be aware of. Those are just some of the challenges I can uh, think of. Uh, anything from your side, Mustafa? Yeah, definitely. I guess you have uh, pointed out or listed uh, some of the key things in there. Uh, at the end of the day, security posture or how good the cybersecurity hygiene of an organization is. It remains essential to, uh, for organizations to understand that. So this is why Aspire Solutions brings in uh, tailor-made solutions for organizations to understand their cybersecurity posture in terms of XM Cyber was mentioning. Or we are helping organizations in building their SOC, or what we call it SOC 2.0, which is Security Operations Center, from data ingestion point to getting data filtered, like in terms of filtering the logs, where we have multiple solutions in there, adding the threat intel on the top of that, and then getting this data into your SIM, uh, SIM solutions, like where you have to do more analytics on the top of it plus doing the security orchestration and automation part on the top of it. So this is where we are bringing a comprehensive story in terms of a, a, a complete solution for organizations to tackle the modern day cyber attacks. Definitely, so just to supplement that, so we call it a cyber fusion center. Yeah. We are not trying to just push tools or products. We want to help companies build a security ecosystem or a cyber fusion center that can scale, that can mature, that can address the challenges of visibility that can address the challenges of integration, automation, as well as have least dependency on humans. Another challenge that we are facing in the region and another thing that customers keep talking to us about is around data privacy. Many countries are coming up with their own data regulations, data privacy laws, but very little is known 
in the wider circles. So we are working with customers in firstly understanding what is relevant to their country, what types of rules, regulations, policies, laws are in place and then work with them as their data privacy partner in consulting, in strategizing, helping them build an architecture and wherever need be also onboarding solutions that helps them in their data privacy journey. So over the course of uh, JISEC, uh, uh, can you give us examples of the deals or um, you know positive conversations you might have had with prospective uh, partnerships that you might have signed? Uh, can you give us some examples? JISEC has been phenomenal for us. We signed quite a few partnerships. On one side, we are extremely honored to enter into a strategic collaboration with the UAE Cyber Security Council. We were a founding partner for the Bugs Bounty Competition, which might end up setting up the world record for the highest number of participants in Bugs Bounty. We've, uh, we've partnered with the council to help uh, to help the UAE firstly enhance its security posture to play our part in, in, in making that happen as well as I, uh, addressing one of the other challenges which is around talent. So capacity building, awareness creation, training youth in certain industry required skills and industry specific cyber security areas so they become more employable and talent can be sourced locally. Ideas can be sourced locally. Perhaps ideas can, can turn out into products or businesses within the cyber security space. So to take that challenge and actually convert it into an opportunity. So that's on the strategic collaboration uh, aspect. From a partnerships point of view, Mustafa talked about a key factor. Yep. In addition to that, we're also very proud to announce our partnership with Next Think, which gives actionable insights into people the type of activities that they're taking, when I say people, employees, the th different types of activities that they're performing within their organization, anywhere, anytime, across any device. So you have the 24 seven visibility into the people and their actions. So these are uh, a couple of partnerships that, that we signed during JISEC. We had lots of uh, uh, potential partners, resellers and system integrators from not just Middle East, as well as from Africa, as well as a few other emerging uh, countries such as uh, Egypt and Turkey that have uh, signed up with us to carry our portfolio in their respective countries. And we are uh, very happy and humbled and honored by, the, uh, by, by just the love that we've received here at JISEC from the entire industry. Um, aspire for uh, this uh, year, w what kind of key factors or key focus areas uh, do you have in terms of strategies? It can be so, you know, uh, markets, marketing strategies, it could be business strategies, any new markets that you have identified over the past couple of days or past couple of months, um, any information on that? For us, 2022 is the year of exponential growth. We've all come out of the pandemic one way or the other. And when I say exponential growth, it's the overall growth of the business, which includes our portfolio to expand meaningfully, for us to expand in countries that we're already present and do more business there, create or add more value. Of course, venture into new markets, of course, venture into new countries also through meaningful partnerships, as well as do things that differentiate us from what the, uh, the other companies in the industry are doing. Uh, we are redefining the meaning of true value added distribution, not just by bringing products and selling them into the market, but by aligning with government entities, aligning with organizations that are responsible for changing the cyber threat landscape, changing the data landscape in the region, and introducing concepts, ideas, solutions, uh, training their youth, and working across the 360 sphere of things as opposed to just one piece which is just the tools and technologies. So for us this year is all about growth. We've been doing very well over the last few years and we expect that 2022 is going to continue scaling us in that growth trajectory and we look forward to having a contribution from all our partners including the media such as yourselves in making our growth vision happen. Uh, thank you Mustafa and uh, uh, Naveen for speaking to us. It was nice having you with us today and uh, we look forward to speaking to you in the future as well. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you so much for having us. Thank you.